Okay. Well, I don't know where he spawned from. But I feel like this, like, cave system is, like, super, like, top security. So I'm going to trust that it won't happen again. And, yeah, we're going to call it there. I mean, we're going we're gonna to call the mining there. Obviously, I still want to do a little more before this this episode ends off here. And let me just say right now that as much as I enjoy this, don't get too attached to this series. I mean, like, me playing on the Unknown Empire, don't get too attached to this. Because between writing and just quite honestly doing other things with my life, um, I, I can't guarantee that this is going to be somewhere I come back to too often, especially with the fact that on, on the verge of the new season, I know that, you know, regardless of how story plays out or anything, we're going to be entering a whole, we're going to be opening a whole different can of worms. And I'm pretty sure that the progress I'll make here is nigh. Could be very wrong about that be very wrong about all of this don't take anything i say as gospel i'm new to the crew here <laughs> but i think this is i think these are the things that are gonna happen i i i, I kind of i going with my gut and saying that this this is the kind of stuff that is on the cusp of happening and son of a biscuit i'm probably gonna need to eat a potato and head back to the shack. I keep calling it the shack. It's the Frosty Lodge. It's more than a shack. It's more than a shack. It's a lodge. It's a Frosty Lodge. Whoa. Nope. Not dealing with skellies. That's not on my agenda today. This is somebody's fully enchanted armor. They just were like, yeah, I'll leave it here. That just actually shows how much trust is in this server. Like, how much friendship and goodwill really is here. The fact that somebody could just leave a rack of enchanted diamond armor in good faith that no one will steal it. You know? In a lot of places, in a lot of servers, this would be considered absolutely stupid. But I think it, it it's not stupid. It really just shows how much trust that this group of YouTubers has built among themselves and among their community. And I really, I love it, actually. I, I really love that that thing can just stand right out there in the open, showing off. And uh, I don't really love how that Wraith is trying to rape me with an arrow uh but i love how they can just do that like i've played on survival servers before uh you know obviously off camera where you had to watch your back all the time you could not trust a single soul with the location of your house with your objectives your agenda nothing you know, like, that was murder to, like, even trust people. And quite honestly, I, I just, I love, it's refreshing to see that not everybody here is out to get you. In fact, I don't believe anyone is. And so, you know, with that being said, I'm really proud to be a part of this community. I really look forward to working with them, playing with them. And, uh, yeah. I've lost my house. Where is it? Dear God. Someone save me. Where's my house? This is completely on me. Where <laughs> this is what I get. For wanting to live in ice caverns. I just, I have no freaking clue. Where'd it go? Feel like a fool. I am a fool. Let's not talk about it. Oh, maybe that's part of the reason I'm a fool. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong spots. 
Yeah, I'm looking in the wrong spots. I've gone too far. Which is usual for me. Both literally and metaphorically. Let's not eat in the water. Oh, there's the crafting bench. That I should probably trade out for something. Trade it out for the spider eye. The spider eye is useless. We'll come back for the spider eye if we can. But if we can't, it's useless. It serves little purpose to me. Come on. Please be the spot I want. Yes. It's the spot. It's the spot. It's the spot. Come on. Come on. No, I made this mistake before, didn't I? And now I'm being caught with my pants down. Okay. Clearly, that's not the spot. Ignore me. I'm wrong. It's not It's not uncommon. Get used to it. Okay. It's the spot over here. Dear God. How have things gone so wrong at the very last part of the video? Come on. I just need to find my house. Oh, come on. Yeah, no, don't want to deal with you. Come on! How did he even catch me? Nope. That was a delayed hit from uh, our friendly neighborhood drowning. Okay. Clearly, I'm lost. Maybe this is it. Yeah, there we go. I definitely need a better way of marking this. Wouldn't it just suck so hard if I came in here and there was like a creeper? Oof. That would suck. Okay. Um. Well. Seems more than appropriate that we build a door. seems more than appropriate we'd build a furnace really I actually completely filled this thing to the brim with cobblestone oh dark blade joined just as I am getting ready to be enter the final phase of this video getting a bed literally just gonna build a nice little chest here all of my valuables in because you can trust people on this server wow such a novel concept it really is sadly i'm just gonna put um well actually i might keep the diamonds to myself just in case being being cautious never hurt anyone even if these people are like some of the nicest people i've ever met in Minecraft. Being cautious doesn't hurt. Um, and some of them are also pranksters. And, uh, pranksters prank. Sometimes, sometimes you think, oh, nobody's gonna touch this, it's completely safe. And then, what do you know, a prankster does something like that. Actually, probably something far more annoying than that. Um, prankster says, Hey, you know those diamonds you didn't want to lose? Well, I'll make it look like you lost them. I'll put them, put them in a chest and hide it at the top of the mountain and you go find them. <laughs> I 
feel like I feel like I just Is that music down there? I feel like I just heard music. I never actually heard the down down there music before. Ah, uh, 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 okay. Fishing dock. Cool. Okay, so you know how I said nobody used the ice? I severely take this back. I might have to move. Whoa! <laughs> I'll let him, I'll leave him to his own devices. Um. So clearly, I forgot about this. I saw it, but I clearly, definitely forgot about it. We're not original. Go figure on a world this big. Okay. Well, you know what. My house is still going to be within the iceberg for now, and I will take I will take care of moving in the next episode. Like I said, my, my final objective, find a bed. Once I find a bed, we done. That's it for this episode. Of course, that, that requires finding sheep and or just staying awake and killing spiders so that I can get... Oh, I should build an iron sword. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, but I didn't do that. Okay. Come on. Looking for mountain sheep. Not sure if mountain sheep are, are a thing. Both in Minecraft and in real life. I don't think they are. Of course, there's chickens. You know, if we were being, like, hyper-realistic, you would need chickens, because you'd need feathers to build a pillow. For your bed. Ow. Okay, I think we're gonna have to go the spider route. Just makes logical sense at this point. So it's time to go and construct an iron sword. Ow. Ow. I'm just watching this. I'm like, <laughs> just walking down. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, our house has a torch now, so that means that when we find it, you know, assuming we find it this time, um. can just oh hey look oh now that's cool there's light shining from the back of my house into there that's cool maybe I will live over here I don't see any harm in it maybe the light was shining from the front of my house clearly I'm a directionless fool um, okay, I do know my house, and, yeah, it's shining from the front of my house. Well, Darkblade left the game. That's good for us if we are, um, if we don't want to go the spider route. I, I feel like this corner is somehow just gonna cause evil to ensue. Somehow it's going to cause that. Okay. Now, first thing I always make is a chest plate because they are the most costly when it comes to resources. 
next thing I usually like to make is a helmet. And there we go. We are starting up. What the hell did I just hear? I'm scared. Daddy. Daddy. Ah. I crafted an iron sword, that's right. See, isn't it a good thing that creepers don't leave craters when they blow up? I think it is. Of course, we have endermen, so we can grab ender pearls, and I'm not really sure that's actually useful at all for what I want to do. Spiders. There we go. Okay, clearly I'm invoking the wrath of too many enemies at once. I like the idea, though, that they're just fighting each other. Okay, yep, just need need some spider silk, so spider, follow me. Yep, spider. Okay, now trap yourself. Yes, you fool. I can't. The server lag is ruining this. Okay, I have clearly made massive error in judgment. About multiple things. Okay, you know what? I'll be the first to admit it. The spider idea? Little worse of an idea than I first first expected on a lagging server okay let me heal let me heal you fool there we go but we didn't even get any silk okay great cool story bro so i'm gonna have to head back up kill more spiders, somehow not die in the process of attracting the attention of way too many mobs, and uh, make off with enough stuff for a bed. Definitely not the hardest thing I've done, but it ranks. Where are the torches I literally just pulled out of my butt? Did the server just kill my torches? The server just killed my torches. Piece of crap. Oh, and now they show back up. Now that I go to craft new ones, they're like, eh, yeah, just kidding. Of all the things. Yeah. Eat a spider eye zombie. Oh, ow. Okay, so this is, you know, clearly not going the way I really intended for it to. I don't want to summon his attention, and that decision was made far too late. You know what? I do know the way back to civilization. Maybe I just head the direction of where I know sheep are. Yeah, no, this is probably the better idea that I've had out of the past several minutes. 
Oh, great Gatsby. How am I going to get out of this one? Where's the moon? It's almost done. It's The night is on its waning portion. There should really just be a really wonderful and courteous player who just like every once in a while just like comes in with a shovel and sweeps the mountains because they've clearly not been swept in a long time. Oh, oh, well, this is bull pucky. I don't know how that creeper didn't hurt me. It really seemed like it should have. Okay, obviously spiders galore, but I can't really do anything about them while I am running for my life. Let me eat a potato, you jerks. I just need a potato. This is really not good for my health. Okay. I can't imagine people would be too furious with me. Oh, come on. Of all the times to find a spider. Now. No. No and a half. Okay. Well, this has been stressful. <laughs> this has been far more stressful than I initially anticipated. Oh, apparently hunger is either turned off or I've just gotten doubly lucky. I'll take either, really. <laughs> just give me that. That's all I need. I just need wool for a bit. I got one wool. This was a dumb idea. This was this was the dumbest idea. Forgive me. Okay, yeah, hunger wasn't turned off. I just got lucky. So I haven't died yet. Keyword, of course, being yet. Hi, Darkblade. I think I just saw you earlier, didn't I? Hi, chicken. That's not what I meant to click on at all. Literally just been drumming up the... The most humorous amount of stupid bad luck. Okay, I think that was three. Yeah, that's three. I don't want to take any more of this wool. Okay. Somehow, I made it through all this without dying. If this were an ultra hardcore series... There probably would have been a couple of moments where my breath would have been held so hard and my ass would have been clenched so tightly that I'm not sure I would have recovered physically.
Wow. Now the goal is to not make a dumb decision that's going to end up throwing me off this mountain with just enough hearts to kill myself. Okay. So we have a, we have the supplies for a bed. This was highly unexpected. Yet totally totally thankful for for the fact that it got to happen. And I figured out kind of the the marker of my house at this point, which has been far too long in the making. Um the marker of my house is a stupid little thing. Ah, there's the stupid little thing. Okay, it's it's this little two by two block blocko thing here. This is my marker because it, you can see it's like separated from everything else. It's my marker. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna live here or not. On one hand, I want to. On the other hand, it's not an original idea. Sorry, I'm getting away from the mic. It's not an original idea. But we'll see. Overall, if I had to rate my scale of fun, I'd probably rate it somewhere around like an 8 on this video. This is goofy, annoying, but fun. <laughs> and I look forward to doing it again. And I look forward to writing this next season. This is... This is going to be cool. So thank you guys for watching. I'm glad you could stick around for what I'm assuming is going to be like an hour and a half long video. Or three videos divided up if I feel so inclined, which I might. Um, three or four. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch on the flip.